in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and when you quote from the Quran for the first time you always say Ba'da'uzu billahi bin shaitan rajim at the first time you don't have to say it for the rest of the lecture but for the first time so Ba'da'uzu billahi bin shaitan rajim فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ No, sorry. الآن وَقَدْ أَصَيْتَ قَبْلُ وَكُنْتَ مِنَ الْمُفْسِدِينَ فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ عَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِلُونَ سورة يونس Don't forget Fir'aun is drowning Because Allah had intervened He always intervenes When he sends prophets when he sends an angel when miracles occur these are divine interventions so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had intervened by parting the sea وَإِذْ فَرَقْنَا بِكُمُ الْبَحْرِ فَأَنْجَيْنَاكُمْ and we saved you Banu Israel Nabi Musa عليه السلام وأغرقنا آل فرعون and Pharaoh and his armed forces were drowned وأنتم تنظرون it happened before your very eyes but when Pharaoh was drowning he realized that he was not God before this he had said أنا ربكم الأعلى Sounds like something from Washington, eh? Ana Rabbukum al-A'la I'm your Lord God, the Most High But now when he is drowning He realizes that he is not God So now he declares his faith In the God of Banu Israel When drowning So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds and listen, listen, listen to the response. Al An, now, Firaun, now, Waqad Asai Taqab, and before this you were in arrogant rejection and obstinate rejection. Wakunta min al Mufsidin, and you were committing fasad, that which corrupts and destroys. Now, Pharaoh, فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ This day, we have ordained to preserve your physical body, badan. That your physical body, when it is rediscovered, when it resurfaces in the historical process لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً that your physical body when it is rediscovered will function as a sign for a people to come after you وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ عَنْ آيَاتِنَ لَغَافِلُونَ But most people are negligent about our signs. The body of Pharaoh was discovered more than a hundred years ago. What is the sign? <laughs> The sign is, first of all, that in Akhirul Zaman, you will have another divine intervention, like that one 
in which the sea was parted. And the divine intervention which comes in Akhirul Zaman will come at the end of a repeat performance <laughs> of the encounter between truth and falsehood between Musa alayhi salam and Pharaoh. Musa alayhi salam didn't have any nuclear weapons he didn't have any helicopter gunships he didn't have all the arms that NATO has no Pharaoh was armed to the teeth so excuse me the encounter which will come in Akhir Zaman which will be a repeat of that would be like this and at the end of that encounter when those who have power in the world would be armed to the teeth and would be waging war on Islam as Fir'aun was waging war at the end of that encounter truth will triumph as truth triumphs at that time who are those people who are to come in Akhir Zaman who will live the way Fir'aun lived now that's not a difficult question to answer is it? Huh? is it? who are those people in Akhir Zaman who will live the way Fir'aun lived powerful arrogant waging war on those who stand up for Islam so if they are not waging war on us something is wrong with our Islam eh? <laughs> huh? who are those people who because they live the way Fir'aun lived will die the way Fir'aun died the answer those who today rule the world in Surah Al-Ma'idah we find another verse of the Quran which identifies them Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu O you who have faith in Allah La tattakhithu al-yahuda wa nasara awliya And we dealt with this two nights ago hmm? Do not take such Jews Not all Jews And such Christians Not all Christians Do not take such Jews and such Christians As your friends and allies Which ones? Which Jews? Which Christians? Ba'aduhum awliya uba. Ba'aduhum awliya uba. Such Jews and such Christians as your friends and allies who themselves are friends and allies of each other. And they are ones, they're the ones who today rule the world. The Judeo Christian Zionist alliance this is the Quran speaking these are the ones who live the way Pharaoh lived and these are the ones who will die the way he died whosoever turned to them with friendship and alliance belong to them if you don't believe my explanation wait until you reach the grave <laughs> and then you know now then what is that divine intervention which is to come in Akhir Zaman hmm? in Surah to Zukhruf we have this ayah Concerning Nabi Isa 
عليه السلام وإنه لعلم للساعة عين لام ميم it could be علم it could be علم both have the same meaning he نبي إيسا عليه السلام is the علم of the Sa'a <coughs> meaning the entire subject of علم أخل الزمان the entire subject revolves around Nabi Isa alayhi salam and he is the alam of the sa'a meaning his return would be that divine intervention which would be like that one when the water parted they are in my book Jerusalem in the Quran there is a chapter dealing with this subject using the Quran using the Quran to demonstrate that Nabi Isa alayhi salam will return and then you go to the hadith which supports the Quran in which Nabi, Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam prophesied that he will come down he will come down with his hands resting on the wings of two angels Nabi Isa alayhi salam Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam is the most powerful voice in human history to prophesy the return of Nabi Isa alayhi salam and so when he does come back it will validate the truth that came from Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam 